We're looking at a painting in the Fox collection. It's a very famous self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh, Vincent van Gogh, <laughs> and it's one of the toughest self-portraits I think I've ever seen. Tough in terms of the color, tough in terms of all that van Gogh was achieving at this moment in the late 1880s. This is a painting that feels incredibly modern to me. A willingness to take risks it's that, amazing is, in that, that, way. that are breathtaking, really. Yeah. Yeah. This is a color that no artist ever used before. And an entire background painted like yeah. that. What nerve he had to take such radical steps. So my eye immediately goes to the structure of the painting, the way in which he's created the architecture of the face, his use of line. You know, I look at the way in which the brush strokes wrap around and sort of cascade around the eye and down the nose. And it's almost like a river of paint as it flows across that face and begins to define it. But then it's not just brushwork at all. It's the ways in which structure is actually built by, by color. By color, yeah, yeah, which I think was something that Cezanne was also thinking about, creating volume with color instead of in the usual way with chiaroscuro. But that the pinks and the purples that are in his temple and the way those modulate over to greens is like nothing I've ever seen. So he's treating the structure of his face, of his head, of his skull, very much as if it was a kind of plastic medium. He writes about this portrait that he's created eyes almost as if he was Japanese, a reference to his love of East Asian painting. But this was a painting that was destined as a gift to Gauguin as part of an exchange. Right, with and, this, this sort of utopian idea of an, a brotherhood of artists that was so important to him. And of course, Gauguin also would have been very interested in East Asian art. This way that he's rendered the hair on his head plastered down, and it's in really strong contrast visually, the way in which the coat feels feels heavy and rough and oversized. And then there's the very tight quality. To his skin. To his skin, well, yeah. Well, what I was noticing that too and what it was reminding me of was a skull. The sense of the bones underneath his flesh and almost a kind of memento mori. Look at the browns and the blues, rust colors in his jacket and... This green, this yeah. sea of acid light that surrounds him. Yeah, he was a, an, just an amazing colorist. Mm -hmm.